are going to talk about goal setting for, I'm going to say, no more than 10 minutes to keep us on track for getting out of here by 945. And can everybody see this title slide? Wonderful. Now, if you are like me and very focused on both macro and micro design editing and whatnot, you might notice that the G looks a little pixelated compared to the large P next to it. And I just want to call that out from the beginning and say, it's because I'm using a specific Toastmaster template that I don't think is necessarily meant to be quite this big, but it still works for the purposes of our discussion today, which is setting goals with pathways, a system that we all should be acquainted with by this point and when moving forward with it intentionally can achieve great heights, just like Roger gave us an example of, of even if you don't win, it gets you to the places where great change can happen and learning can happen. This is meant to guide you through that process and what to expect today this is going to look a little bit different because I adjusted the time. We're going to do this within 10 minutes, so don't have the full 12 like I planned. But overall, we're going to walk through pathways real quick, reference some resources, create our own personal goals for what we hope to achieve with this resource by my goal is the end of 2020. So this Q4 that's coming up for the year. This isn't to say you have to complete an entire pathway in three months. But having a clear and defined goal for the purpose as to why you should get involved with this is something that can be acted on within the rest of the year. So if you have any questions, comments, insights, please feel free to share them in the chat and we'll either get to them as we talk or save time at the end. But these are the 11 learning paths that you can take through pathways. Now, raise your hand if you are in dynamic leadership or have engaged with it before. I'm going to try and make sure I can see everyone. Wonderful. Mike, I'm going to popcorn call on you and please give us a brief description of what this pathway is about. Uh, dynamic leadership is about developing obviously what it sounds like leadership skills. I'm only at the very beginning of this pathway. Uh, level one, uh, I had actually done a, a, a my first, I've done my introductory speech, but uh, now I'm, at, I'm just at the point of doing my level one first speech and then an evaluation and redoing that speech. That's where I'm at. It just works through different uh, characteristics of what leadership is. Wonderful, thank you, Mike. All right, effective coaching. Raise your hand if you have taken it or are in it now. And yes, this is a signal for me to call on you. Koshi! Would you please give us a brief, brief description of what effective coaching is and where you're at with it? I have completed my effective coaching, which helped me to get my advanced leader silver and my DTM. It was very much a learning experience for me. I had no idea when I got to the, you think you're just going to do these little speeches and it's going to trundle along, but there are a couple of pathways that have a, a higher requirement, shall we say, in that you have to do a higher high performance leadership. And my high performance leadership took over a year, <laughs> or not over a year, but a year almost to complete. I had involved, um, I had mentors, coaches, I had... Jane was one of my committee members who helped me to get through this whole thing. I did a video, which is on, even in the starburst on it. But the basic thing for that was creating, my goal was to create a, a step guide for anybody who wanted to put on a club officer training. So that is available on the District 2 website. And anybody who wants to do that can put it on. It is a, uh, it's a tough pathway. I won't lie to you, but it, it really will help you grow. Madam Toastmaster. Thank you, Skoshi. Now, in the hope of saving some time, I'm not going to popcorn on everybody throughout this, so the rest of you are saved. 
However, I will say that you should take the time to read up on each of them because even if you're in the middle of one right now, you should be looking ahead to what you're planning on doing next in your development. And for me personally, I am in the innovative planning, which is about building creative project management and communication skills. But I really do think as I launch the rebrand of my photography business that I've had for 12 years, I really need to look at strategic relationships as my next pathway because I was running some numbers and the majority of my procurement for projects, big word so early in the morning, comes from personal relationships. So I need to get better at investing in those dynamics and making sure that I'm being strategic with how I'm communicating what I do to the people that matter. So just an example of what we're going to be talking about today in terms of goal setting, but your resources real quick, your Pathways Basecamp. If you go ahead and open that up now and start getting familiar with it, the very first thing you should see is a rundown of where you're at and what's to come with your speeches and your chosen pathway. If you haven't picked a pathway yet, it'll prompt you to take a quiz that helps align your immediate goals with what they have to offer. There's also a Pathways Awards template that was sent out to the member listserv within the last few months that I will resend out today along with the templates that I've shared with the PDFs and speeches. However, it is a document in Excel or Google Sheets, whatever you prefer, where you can specifically list out within your pathway in one place what speech you're on, what you've given, who was your evaluator, so that when you're ready to turn in for your accreditation, your awards, it is there ready to go. And then of course, Mike Lama, our Vice President of Member Education, he wants to know your goals. I want to know your goals. We should all want to know each other's goals when it comes to Toastmasters. But most importantly, Mike should know where you're heading so that he can help you get there. Now, if you have no idea where you want to go with Toastmasters right now, whether you're new to it, have been with it for a while, it's all right. It's okay to be in it just for the sake of the experience. And I know when I first started, that was a big part of it for me of I avoided active leadership responsibility in the club because I just wanted to take it in and be an observer and engage in a way that was free to go wherever I needed it to go in the moment. And that's good. That's okay. But if you're in a place where you want to set some goals and create some definition for your development, I think these two questions are particularly helpful. And then combining the answers to create said goal might lead you to a place where you can better communicate it both to yourself and other people. Does anyone have any questions about these questions or the example I gave here on the slide before I move forward? Wonderful. Now I'm going to ask you to go ahead and start thinking about what we just talked about, whether it's where you're at with pathways, what are your answers to those questions I just prompted. If you need me to scroll back so you can take a quick picture of it, I'm happy to. But I'm gonna put you in breakout groups for two minutes and ask you to, in your small groups, talk about where you're at with your goals. You don't have to run through a very specific rundown like I just gave you. You can just talk generalities, but in any case, it gives you a chance to check in with people one-on-one. -on -one. Sound good? Wonderful. I'm just going to automatically sort you in and pull you back out after two minutes. See you soon. Let's leave you all. Oh, here we go. We're learning.
Okay. Welcome back, everyone. <clears throat> so I hope most everyone was able to at least touch on where they're at with pathways or share a goal. Question, does everybody see the screen slide again? Wonderful. So we are just going to take uh, 30 seconds, and I would like for one person to share what they talked about and heard in their group. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pick on somebody else, Shelly. OK. <laughs> Thank you, though. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go ahead and go with Sarah. Oh, me? Yeah. Oh. Um, what I heard in the, the group discussion, the breakout, was um, from Carly and how excited she is on uh, stepping up to being the person that she is wanting to grow into. And I can totally identify with that. I feel like I'm still on that journey, Carly. And um, it's a lifelong event. I'm in. Thank you both for sharing, Sarah and Carly. Now, uh, like I said, I promised I was only gonna call on one person, so I will hold true to that to keep us on time. So again, you're welcome and you're lucky. But with that, thank you all for joining in on the discussion about goal setting today. I hope it provided some clarity to get you started into thinking how you wanna spend the last three months of 2020. It's almost here, guys, it's almost done. <laughs> but. I almost create, or not almost, I also did create a Google Doc that I will send out via the email server that just asks everyone if you want to clearly list your name, your goal, your current pathway, and if you have a deadline for that goal. That way we can all help each other, keep each other accountable, keep each other engaged and invested in what's going on. And with that, I pass it back to myself as Madam Toastmaster.